Hello, my most amazing artist. Today, we are going to be learning how to draw a still life. A still life is a picture of objects that sit still. Here's some examples of a few still lifes. The still life that we will be drawing today is inspired by Clementine Hunter's zinnias. Zinnias are these beautiful flowers that come in all sorts of colors, especially red, orange, yellow, and pink. These are the things that you will need to draw these flowers today. You'll need a pencil, paper, something round to trace, crayons, markers, and a little cup of water with a paintbrush or some cotton swabs. The first step is to draw some few circles onto my paper. Now I'm going to draw a wavy line all the way around my circles. Now I'm going to give my flowers some stems and leaves. Now I'm going to take my black crayon and I'm going to outline flowers, the pot, and the table in black to make it stand out. For my stems and my leaves, I'm going to use a green to outline those and then color the leaves in. Now I'm ready to start coloring in my flowers. Instead of just coloring them in a solid color, I'm going to take my first crayon and I'm going to draw lines that come out from the center, almost like if I were doing a sun. I chose a different color for the main part of each flower. Now I'm taking a marker to color over the rest of the flower. Now here comes the fun part. I've got cotton swabs and a paintbrush. You can use either one for this. And I have a little jar of water. Make sure you ask the adult in your family before you start this part. Using a cotton swab, I dip it in some water, and then I use it to paint the water over top of the marker. If you have a paintbrush, it's the same process. Don't forget to decorate your pot. I'm using crayon to add some different types of lines as decoration to my flower pot. I then take a marker and color over the entire flower pot. Once I've colored it in, now I can take my paintbrush or my cotton swab and add water. Now it's time to add green to the leaves and the stems. And now for the table that the flower pot is sitting on. I've decided that I'm going to put a checkerboard pattern on the table. And last but not least, the wall behind the flower pot. First, I'm going to take a crayon. I'm going to draw some vertical lines in the background. Once everything is dry, I take a black crayon and I write my name and the year in the corner. And there you have it, your very own Clementine Hunter inspired Zinnia still life. I hope you had fun. Until next time.